question 2 fifth part over here they ask that is the statement true or false and we need to justify our answer now question says that if all the zeros of a cubic polynomial are negative then we need to show that or we need to check that if all the coefficients and the constant term of the polynomial have the same sign can be positive can be negative they only wanted to know that would be the coefficients or constant terms of the polynomial would be having the same signs or not and we already know that the zeros of the cubic polynomial which we have are negative so let's try and solve the question please give it a try yourself as well and once you are ready with the solution you can straight away refer the video and we'll be you'll be seeing the solution of this question don't forget to share like and subscribe if you like it Now let's start with the solution. Now over here we'll start with let the cubic polynomial be ax cube plus bx squared plus cx plus d plus e. Isn't it? No, there is no need of e. Yes, you're right, there is no need of e. So ax cube plus bx squared plus cx plus d this is the cubic polynomial and let alpha beta and gamma be the zeros of the cubic polynomial which we have now if we have a cubic polynomial and alpha beta gamma are the zeros of the cubic polynomial so sum of the zeros that means alpha plus beta plus gamma will be minus b upon a alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha will be c upon a and alpha beta gamma that is product of the zeros will be minus d upon a so this is we already know if we are done with this uh, polynomials and if we are done with this cubic polynomials and some of the roots and product of the roots now they've asked few things that all alpha beta gammas will be negative now since all the zeros be negative then we can write it down that the sum of the zeros would be any negative number because if we have three numbers three zeros and all the three zeros are negative so for sure we will be getting the sum of the roots as a negative value or a negative number so let's say we have minus x we have taken that now we know it's minus b upon a minus x it means that b upon a equals to x now b upon a equals to x would be possible only if b and a have same signs they can be positive or negative but x that means positive would be possible if b and a both have either negative sign or positive sign let's move on to the second thing which we have now we have alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is c upon a now we know if b and a have same signs then for sure their product will be either positive or negative that means the product will be the same sign will be including the same sign so if i'll talk about the product then we know that will be positive so we know that the product uh, we can take it as y that will be positive any positive number now why if we have b and a and we have same signs of it then if i'll just check out the product for sure that will be positive it will go ahead with the product let's say uh, first two then second third all the three zeros and we have b and a same signs and the product will be of same sign that will be positive either minus or plus ultimately if we multiplying both of them we will be getting a positive number out of it so we will be getting it as y now c upon a is equal to y which means that c and a will be having same signs again it will be negative positive it does not matter what matters is that they have same signs move on to the last one product now if we are sure 
that two has same signs and we are not sure about the third one. Whatever we will be doing it, we will be multiplying it, we will be getting any negative number only. So we can take it as let's say negative z and we will be getting it negative. So any negative number. Now over here we got minus d upon a which is equal to minus z which means d upon a equals to z. That will be possible only if d and a have same signs. Again could be positive and negative that would not uh, be a problem but it will be having same signs. So if you can see that b, c and d, b, c, d have same signs as a. So can't we say that all the coefficients and the constant terms of the polynomial have the same sign if all the zeros of the cubic polynomial are negative. So we can straight away write down the answer true because we can see that a, b, c, d all have same signs. So a, b, c are coefficients and the constant term is d and they all have same signs and we know that all the zeros of the cubic polynomial are negative. I hope we are aware of it. I will just give you a quick recap of it. Alpha, beta, gamma. If all are negative then for sure we will be getting as a negative number sum of these zeros. If we have all the, all the numbers are negative then let's say if we have first two the product of two zeros will be positive for sure. So the final answer we should be getting will be positive only. And again if we have all the zeros as negative then alpha, beta, gamma minus into minus into minus of anything will be given a minus or a negative number. I hope you understand this question and it will be really helpful for you uh, in your exam. Till then stay tuned, take care. I will be coming back with another question of another exercise in the same chapter. Thank you so much.